Hello and welcome to the OutPower Newscast. On today's news we're going to check on the content released by OutSystems to further improve our skills, talk about the London Meetup, give a more detailed look at the system component translations, and give a quick peek on what the community has been up to. OutSystems always has the focus in providing the clients with the best help possible. Because of that, they're always creating or updating content that will enable the community to deliver their projects with the best feasible quality. With that enablement in mind, OutSystems has released new content that provides valuable lessons in architecture integration patterns, data purge and archiving, style guide architecture, and more. With Service Studio being our development tool, we should always try to be the most up-to-date possible. A new version of the Service Studio has been made available for the community. The latest table version is now 11.5.45. Still on Service Studio news, Tertius Swatch, product manager at OutSystems, has announced that a new version of the Service Studio for macOS has been released. If you're a Mac user, why not give a try to the latest build? Now, following the Service Studio news release, we'll be talking about this one London OutSystems user group event. A few weeks ago, we had an excellent meetup in London. The UK community got together to view a couple of presentations, participate in a few debates, all of this followed by a good session of chat, food and drinks. These community events are always good fun. So if you can, be sure to join on the next London Out Systems user group event. And now, going over to the community highlights. As a long ongoing challenge, the community has been providing help to OutSystems to translate the system components into several languages. Last week, new versions of the translation Excel for Italian and Spanish have been made available. If this is of your interest, either because you just want to improve the translations on your application, or want to contribute to the challenge, you will find the link to the post below. In there, you will find the guidelines that you should follow and the instructions on how to get the necessary resources. As for Forge releases, OutSystems is present again, with the release of the new version of the data grid component. On this new version, the grid column number now supports decimal numbers, and the functionality for the suppress menu option is now working as expected. Also, a few style tweaks have been made to the component. And as for this week's deployments by the community, these are the following picks. Next, the idea of the week. This past week idea that has captured more attention in the OutSystems community is by Pedro Costa. What he proposes is for the Forge to allow us to update our components that are in the previous versions of the platform. And with that, we wrap up today's edition of the newscast. Thank you for watching and please join us next time for more OutSystems news by OutPower. Have a great day.